All righty, my friends. Did I choose the worst track or what? Uh, it'd be nice if you could blow up the mushrooms and replant them somewhere else. That would be pretty cool. All right. I don't think I love that track. <laughs> All right. That, 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 I think I did choose the worst track. Sorry about choosing the worst track about that. Sorry about that. <laughs> Unless somebody really loves that track, then it's the best track. All the satisfactory tracks slap. Nice, nice. Okay. All right, so what's my next goal? We got motors done. Um, why are my rotors coming in so slowly? Let's... Uh, rotors, are they not getting wire fast enough? All right. Um... Is this a symptom of... Oh, crap. Oh, crap. I know what this is. I used tier 3 belts thinking that's all I needed. And I need tier 4 belts because 360 a minute. I think... Or is that right? No, I have tier 4 belts. And it's completely filled. Okay. Then... Do I have a... I have a bottleneck somewhere. Or is it just manifold design being slow? I think it might be the manifold. <laughs> Taking a while to fill. Um, so what I can do to help that along is I can get wire from my dimensional storage and fill the guys that aren't getting wire, which is these guys down here at the end, I think. Yes, it's that. That's what it is. It's this. If I do this... Okay, this should help. Uh... Uh... Keep the rotors going at full speed, hopefully. And let me make sure there's nothing of a bottleneck up top. Like I didn't connect these. No, I connected all these. Okay. You know what's another really neat thing in Factorio? Once you get robots, you can configure an upgrade planner and just drag a selection box to have your robots automatically replace all the buildings to higher or lower tier of your choice. Yeah, that is really cool. This game needs like something like that badly. Yeah. This feels like they're still not building at full speed. Is everything at 100% up here? 100%. I'll just check along down the line. 100%. Did I do my math wrong? Okay, these are at 78% because they should be getting caught up once I filled them in. Every construction should bring this back up closer to 100%. Yeah, 79. Same with this. You should be going back up, right? Make sure you go up to... Okay, you didn't go up to 80%. But you should. You should go slowly back up to max. Five per minute times... One, two, three, four, five, six... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Four, five, six, seven. Uh, 7 times 2 is 14. 14 times 5. 70. I'm actually making 70 a minute. I actually made more than I meant to. Uh, because I think my expansion thing is 4 and the first one is 3. Okay. We're actually making 70 a minute. Well, this is actually wrong. I'm, I'm, I'd rather make more than I need, which is a good thing. But it's still confusing me as to... Why are rotors... Are we being slowed down by our rotor speed production here? Or are we at 100% up here? 100%. Okay, we are at 100%. I'm just used to seeing the belt full, and the belt's not full because I have a faster belt than number of things we're making. Okay, we should be good. We should be good. We should be making motors. They should be stockpiling. Okay, very good. What's up, Nietzsche? How are you doing, my friend? We just finished motors. So what is my next goal? Um, 
We got motors automated. <sighs> what do we need next? What do we need next? I think we might need to be getting AI limiters. Um, and heavy, heavy steel frames. Heavy, heavy flexible frames are one of these guys going, I think. Because, yeah. Once I get once I get the heavy frames, I think we have everything we need to get phase 3 going. Maybe I might need high speed connectors actually. You'd work on the versal frames, you need 2500. Uh yeah, I know I already have a bunch of those built. Uh they're just in my other factory. Uh I'm going to need to get a permanent build of those eventually anyway. You always use heavy encased frames. That does look better than any of the others because it's no screws. Because <laughs> screws are just the worst. It's going to need a lot of steel pipes, though. Which we did just do a steel pipe upgrade. Industrial frames, modular frames, concrete. I feel like this is probably the build. But I'm wondering if I want to get my high-speed connectors going first. You always try to cut out screws entirely? Yeah. Nah, I really should get these, because I actually need these for things, and I'm not making these anywhere yet. So, encased heavy frames. Wow, that is some weird numbers on that. Uh, my worry about doing this one is that I'm going to have to do a lot of upgrades to other builds to... Uh, to have enough of these being made per minute. Um, let me check something here. Okay, so the only thing that needs of these, the only thing for these phase three builds that we need are the heavy modular frames for are the adaptive control units. And how many does that need a minute? It needs one a minute. Okay. Automated wiring and other things. Okay, so... So if I were to say do two of these, do I have enough materials for all of that? Two doesn't seem like enough. I kind of want to do four of these. Am I the Farb in another life? Me and the Farb are the same person. We are... He is my doppelganger and I am his doppelganger. We are the same. Alright, so I think I want to plan around doing four of these. Um, 2.813 is such a weird number. 2.813 times 4 equals 11.252. So we would make 11.252 heavy modular frames a minute if I were to do four of these. Do I have a manufacturer blueprint yet? Um, yes. But I had to do a right side and a left side to it. What does it look like? Uh, Paboom, thank you for the prime sub. I appreciate that. So I actually have a setup for four, four of these. The left side and the right side. So that's probably what I want to do. At some point you'll want to take a single manufacturer of SAM fluctuators. You don't need lots of them. It's nice to have a supply for late game. Yeah, yeah, that's something I've thought about. Peace. All right. Did you drop your prime and you're leaving? <laughs> but I appreciate it. It's awesome. All right, so let me let me write down these numbers because these numbers are just weird. Um, why does it say three on the top but two point eight per minute? I guess that has to do with the fact that this makes in sixty four seconds, which is such a weird number. But all right, so two point. I do the math here. Two point eight. Dying. 2.813 heavy modular frames. Uh, peace is just a sentiment. Peace is a state of mind. True. 
I will say I'm way less chill than Farb. Farb is way more chill than I am usually. All right, so it needs 7.5, at least when playing uh, FTL. 7.5 modular frames. Uh, 9.375 in case industrial frames. 9.375 case industrial beams, I should say. And then 36 steel pipes. I know I'm going to have to do huge upgrades if I want to do four of these. No, not 36. 33. 33.75 steel pipes. And then 20.65 concrete. 20.65 and is dying on me. 3.65 concrete. He's more chill because he's just pouring his heart out while Rand's personality, when his Rand's personality streams. That's right. We are we are doppelgangers. I'm, I'm the uh, strung up version. He's the chill out version. All right, so I got to figure out if we're making enough of these things for this. I have a feeling I'm not. Shut up, take my money, then I'll leave. <laughs> uh, a lot of the things that cut out screws add a need for steel pipes or girders, you had to triple your output of that. Well, I did just double my output of steel pipes. So let me look at steel beams first, or in case industrial beams, because that's the one that I'm most worried I'm not making enough of. That modular frames, I have a feeling I'm not making nearly enough. It should be right over here. Okay. Well, I don't have any output of the encased industrial beams yet, but I'm making 36. So, um, I said I wanted to do four. So 9.375 times four, 37.5. I am almost making enough. Pass Rand almost made enough. So I don't necessarily need a big upgrade for that. I can make a small upgrade for that if needed. That's good. Modular frames are right over here. I'm making 21 a minute. Okay, and 7.5 times 20 uh, times 4, 30. So I do, I would need a little bit more modular frames, which is using steel pipes and reinforced iron plates. Do you recall correctly? The numbers get less weird if you underclock the thing to 2.5 a minute, huh? Uh, underclock to 2.5. Um. Uh, okay. I do like the idea of underclocking too, just for uh, less materials needed. Okay. Is that better? I mean, it's a little better. <laughs> it's still like all these 0 0.33, 0 0.33. It's definitely better. I get a slightly overclock one machine for encased beams or throw a summer sloop in one of them to double the output. I just, I kind of want to get an idea of the numbers I need. So I need, a, I need, if I don't underclock, I need like one encased industrial beam per minute. I need like nine more modular frames per minute. Concrete. How much concrete? I think. Okay, I'm using 216 concrete per minute in this factory. I don't think I'm using concrete anywhere else yet. But let me go see how much concrete we're doing. Uh, well, we'll do concrete last because uh, the other thing is. Uh, can't read my own handwriting. Steel beams, I think. Case okay, industrial beams. Steel pipes. Steel pipes. Steel pipes. Um, I'm using steel pipes all over the place is the thing. So I need a centralized... We really need a thing that you can press tab and shows what you're making, what you're using of everything. Again, another thing that uh, Factorio has over Satisfactory. So we're using 70 there. Let me let me 
get an idea of how many steel pipes we're using. I really do need to make a centralized area where I keep track of how much we're using of each item. 70 there. 96 there. 70 plus 96. Plus 120. 286. Am I using steel pipes anywhere else? Three places, right? I just counted up three places. One, two, and three. Okay, so we're currently using 286 per minute of the how many we're making. Of the 480. So, 480 minus 286. I have 194 available a minute and 33.75 times 4 is 135. So I actually don't need to upgrade my steel pipe uh, production at the moment. So that's good. Time for a big production billboard. I might do that soon. I don't think I'm going to do it yet. I kind of... It looks like I don't need to do too much in the way of upgrades to get heavy modular frames. So let me go... Let me go check my concrete. How much we're bringing in concrete-wise. And if it's enough, then I might summer sloop or overclock a couple things to make it so I can have heavy modular frames get started, because we just need those going. I'm using 216 concrete a minute. How much how much are we recreating? And I'll have to deliver I'll have to have my truck deliver to there. Probably a second truck to live in concrete. 216 a minute is what we're currently using. I'm gonna go check my concrete delivery truck over on the other side. Four summer sluice for manufacturer and the power usage goes bananas? Yeah. Alright, my concrete is backed up. That's a good sign. But I did a huge upgrade to concrete previously, so hopefully. Ah, we got plenty! We got plenty! Nice! Way to go past Rand! So proud of past Rand, because 20.65 times 4, we're only going to be using 82.6, so that's plenty. Uh, for weird builds like this, you oversaturate it and just call it good. There's a great mod called Efficiency Checker. It gives you a ha hand scanner that lets you check a belt for how much input is required, how much is produced, and if there are throughput bottlenecks. Okay. Okay, that does sound pretty cool. Alright, this is going to be a big factory. Um... And I'm going to need delivery. I'm going to need to deliver concrete. I wonder if I want to just put it right in the middle here. If I put it right in the middle here, I could deliver concrete. And have my other items come in right here. And I think that'll probably use up most of the space I really have available before I start expanding onto the loop. Which would be pretty close to the next tier of manufacturing, which might be pretty good. Alright, let's see. Let's see if I can set up a... I'm gonna... Finally move this out of the way. That was my reference for building up my uh, big... Ziggurat or pyramid, whatever you want to call it. Nice change. Thanks, Factoid. And I added pillars to the top before. What ancient demon are you tethering to the earth with those? Me. Me. This is a monument to me. Who's the most special person in the world? Me. So it's all a monument to me. Okay. Um, so let's get our delivery truck set up because that'll be my reference point for where the factory goes. And if I can't even fit it here, giggity, that's what she said. And like this one, I like like this one, I'm gonna do that too wide, I think. Giggity indeed, yes, giggity. Okay. All right. Will I have room here? That is the question. Will I have room? 
Um, truck stop. Truck station. I want to center this right here. That looks good. Maybe like that. There we go. That looks fairly well centered. There. This Rand monument in the center of Rando Randopolis, the capital of the Galactic Rand Pyre, is a tribute to someone whose name I forget. Named Farb. <laughs> Great. Uh, you know what? I think I do want to make this slightly wider because I'm going to want a staircase to go up. So I'm going to change my mind a little bit here. allow me to put staircase right here and see if I can fit my manufacturer here I'm not even sure if it will fit I think it should we shall see but we shall see This weekend will be one uninterrupted factory session. You have to make it to space. Nice, nice. All right, so left side. H. All right, are we overlapping anything? No, I think this is. I think this should work. And I think I actually want to go. Well, okay, yeah. I'm trying to decide where, how much space I want. I should, I should leave more space on the left side. So yeah, I think this will be good for this side. There, and then we do right side, right here. Man, I can't wait till uh, Path of Exile Two comes out. Because I, I am definitely going to be streaming that. And even if I don't get that good of a response from the stream, I'll just be playing it for fun off stream. And a whole weekend of just playing Path of Exile 2 it sounds so much fun. Top tier in one playthrough? You don't think you could do that. Top tier in one playthrough. Talking about Factorio? You have an average running factory already, and access to space actually quite mild compared to space exploration mod, huh? Okay. Okay. Do I like this spacing? Does this this isn't gonna run into anything? It's not very expandable, but I could do like one expansion on the back if I need to. So I think this will work. I think this will work for our uh our dude here. So. Let's go tell it what you're going to make so we can figure out numbers. You are making encased frames. And do I want to underclock to 2.5? I kind of do want to underclock, actually. What if I underclocked each of these to 2? It reduces all of the requirements by a decent amount. I think I am going to do that. I think I'm, I'm going to redu reduce each of these to two. That means we'll be making an even eight per minute, which is going to fit on my bar outside better. Um, all these other numbers I'm going to have to do freaking math on to uh, put them on my board outside. Uh, okay, so that's what we're making, two of these per minute. Uh, let's get all the inputs and plugs and everything going. Eight is a decent amount for, uh, heavy manufactured frames. Nice. Or whatever they're called. Is that what they're called? I think that's what they're called. Do the 
fall. Let me get customizer patterns, loading zone here, and color. There we go. And this is going to be um, where is it? Industrial Beams Concrete Dock. This is going to be Heavy Modular Frames Concrete Dock. Heavy Modular Frames Concrete Dock. There we go. This will be Unload. Okay. Uh, I just remember what Rand's factory color reminds me of. The Eastern Buildings in L.A. Oh, yeah, it is similar to that. That's way better than porta potties, so I, I appreciate that better. <laughs> We're going to go with that. It's totally designed after Eastern whatever that is, which is not porta potties. No, no porta potties, please. Okay, uh, let me figure this next part out. So I need inputs here. I think I'm going to want to input on this side over here. Yes. Uh, okay, so I think I know how, to, how I want to do this. I want... I do two belts like that. One in there. How would I do this? Um, okay, if I do tier threes for this, it should be plenty fast, I think. Hmm. Alright, that's not too much of a mess. That's not too bad. I can still get to the ladder. Vaguely. <laughs> Vaguely, I can get to the ladder. That works, that works. If I go a little more over to the side, I wonder if I will... Uh, or if I have some coming from the other side. Let me, let me... Which ones look goofy? Straight ones look fine. These other ones don't look so good. So let me, let me see if I can have them coming from different sides. There and there. And let's see here. Yeah, I think this is going to look a lot better. Yeah, definitely. There we go. Yeah, that's better. And then I can get in. Things aren't overlapping. I think that'll work. Um, although, crap. Although, crap. I need my signs, so in order to have my signs, I need this space right here. I'll get this eventually. There. And there. There we go. And that even gives me a little more headroom. OSHA would approve of headroom. Uh, it looks like this. Uh-oh. Is this a picture of porta potties? It's a picture of porta potties that are the same color as my light blue. Oh god. <laughs> five more minutes for your final thermal propulsions, then you're into phase five and tier nine again. Nice. Nice. Alright, let's get these other guys plugged in. So that. That. That and that. Or Windows 95. Uh oh, what does this picture look like? What is Windows 95? Oh, it's just the color of the background. 
The desktop color in Windows 95. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> Mine's a little brighter than that. So it's totally different. Almost out of my fuel, so let's do that. Just imagine the little factories inside each of the portable toilets. You have Rand's build. You think my color is fine. Thanks, Dern. Dern's my favorite. Everyone else, you can go to hell or you die. Just kidding. Um, like that. And the output would be there. Oh, it's almost perfectly straight. Cool. So that will be that. You're doing great until you checked your two giant plastic backup chests and they were empty. You had to throw in a really dirty 540 oil factory. Most rushed, you felt all game. Oh, because you ran out of plastic. Yeah. My trucks ramming into each other. Okay, so. Um, I should probably get the concrete going first. Everything else will just be belts I'm moving over. So we're going to do a truck by itself. That's going to go... Um, I could do the inner path. Do I want to do the inner path? I only have one coming along the inner path to go there. I think it actually would be safe to do the inner path on this one. Rather than going all the way around. Will that screw me in the future if I do the inner path? I probably will. The reason this one on the inner path works is because... Nothing else goes here. If I did another one that went this way, I have a feeling it would crash. So I better go all the way around to deliver that concrete there. All right, time for driving with Rand. Show you all how uh, such a great driver I am. Now the concrete one is the one that's right at this weird position where the truck stops. Kind of getting each other's way here. Okay. Truck. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna try to record this without doing a practice run. Famous last words, probably. Uh, did you get coal already? You got coal, that's good. So. I'm gonna wait till that truck in front of me moves. Once that goes, then we'll uh, start recording and start uh, start doing a thing. Start recording. Load. Friend never starts driving Uber again. We'll see the birth of another extreme sport, huh? <laughs> okay, wait for the full load. There are no trucks are coming up behind me. Good. And we are good to go. And we are good. The stream extreme sport title is uh, Urban Traffic Survival 2024 Extreme Edition. It's on it's broadcast on the Ocho ESPN 8. Great. Be a new hype thing. Okay, we're a uh, a little off-road and look driving type there. It's good so far. Beautiful. Name name that reference. Name the movie that ESPN 8 The Ocho is from. Sure, somebody in here knows that, right? No oh, lag. Please don't pop my truck up out of nowhere for no reason. Like that arrow that looks like something did a wheelie. Dodgeball, a true underdog story. You got a factoid. You got it. Well done. Well done. Right, so how am I gonna turn off here? go here we turn off right here and we should be able to join without too much trouble I think and unload okay 
And I gotta keep an eye behind me when the unloading's done that we don't crash into another truck. Looking clear right now, that's good. I love the reflection off my metal pyramid pillars. It's really cool. All right. Unloading is done. And let's go. Auto save lag right as we do that. I'm surprised I'm not running into a bunch of other trucks right now. I'm grateful. But that must mean all my trucks are unloaded or something. Here. Oh good, the other concrete truck just got done unloading so I don't have to wait for it. Nice. Perfectly, perfectly, perfectly planned and balanced and done. Here. There. What? It's not? Oh god. There. Okay. Well, <laughs> uh, the ending wasn't the best, but that's okay. I'm going to have to, like I said at some point, I'm going to eventually have to um, redo all of my things, probably. Redo all of my truck. Uh, why aren't you loading? You should be loading. Am I screwing it up? Is, it, is autopilot enabled? It is. Okay, I think I'm screwing it up by getting it in, getting inside there. Crossing lanes, risky. I know. ESPN actually does occasionally use the Ocho brand when showing sports like cornhole and extreme tag. Really, that's funny. Um. Okay, there he goes. All right. Is this? That's good. Let's go edit the offload node, the unload node. I really need upgraded belts. My tier 4 belts are not quite cutting it every time now. It's temporarily permanently, temporarily permanent, but only temporarily. See? Darn the Hermit knows how it works. You know how it works. Alright, that, that's fine. Okay. And you got concrete. Very good. So we got concrete delivered. So, now we get got to get the other deliveries, and this thing is ready to go. Well, did I tell it what it's making? I think I did. I don't think I plugged in the power, though. Okay, good. It copy-pasted that I'm doing two a minute on each of these, right? Yes, good. Power. Plug in there. Are you all yellow? You're all yellow. Very good. So now i got to bring my other materials. So I think the best way to do this is to close out our um, I need more concrete close out our loop here I have a place for concrete for just me to go grab that's doesn't use up our uh, concrete um, supplies for our factories so a nice little hidden concrete thing over here to grab concrete when I need it there we go. I do have one truck that is crossing lanes, or it take it's like the one truck that right there that turns left to deliver uh what is that? Silicon or whatever? For our oscillator thing. But every other one goes around the entire loop, so hopefully we won't have any issues. Uh, what did I just grab? Concrete for something. Yes, to make the thing here. Close our loop of foundations here. Lag. Every other truck goes around the outside, around the outside, around the outside. <laughs> nice. I don't know if you're quoting me because I say that sometimes. You're actually quoting the song. Either way, well done. Well done. It's a good song. Yeah, that was weird. I forget what song that is. 
but it's a good one. It's a good zone. Whatever it is, it's good. Oh, is it the real Slim Shady? Is that what it is? <laughs> All right, well done, well done. This is one height higher than it should be. Can I start this one late? No. Then why? Then why do I need one extra ramp to go? Did I go too high on this side? I went too high on this side. Oh, crap. I went one too high on this side. All right, well, I have all of these belts on and I don't want to fix it. So that's just going to be... <laughs> That's going to be a slight misaligning that nobody's going to notice or ever talk about again. And if it bo bothers your OCD, stamp stamp down on it. Stamp down on your OCD if that bothers you because I I, I can't fix that. It's, I have too many belts that I have to replace and that would be too annoying. Okay, so what do I need for this? Um, we already got the concrete. We need modular frames, encased industrial beams, and steel beam, uh, steel pipes. So... We already got steel pipes over here, so we do another thing of steel pipes over here, I think. I just have one more steel pipe thing I'm not pulling from that's being used to supply our dimensional storage. So, let me... change that up somehow. You know how I'm going to comment on that, right? It's unforgivable. I know it is unforgivable. It, it really is. All right, so how am I going to do this? What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a splitter. On this guy somehow. Yes. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do a splitter. About there. I'm going to hope that this will plug in here. That is not going to plug in, is it? Okay, so if I do this, and this, that'll work. Will that work? Why am I not seeing any steel pipes? Is that not connected at the bottom? It is. That's a splitter. I have no idea why that's not working. Conveyor splitter. Let's do it on this side, actually. Oh. That one work? No, that one doesn't work. Okay, but at least the I see I saw steel pipes going out of that one. For some reason the other one was not. There we go. That should supply to our Dimensional storage, very good. And now this guy, we need to do what we did before, which was... I believe... Set up a thing here. Go there.
Uh, Gunther's got the link for the mods. Thanks, Gunther. Yes. Uh, the main thing is that top one, though. The Mike Copley one, if you're talking about for vanilla FTL. If you're talking about ships that we play on viewer ship day, that would be a different link, I would say. Right there. That would be the FTL ship link. There we go. Beautiful. Gosh, I hope, hope, hope I don't need any more steel pipes anytime soon because... Uh, uh, I am... out of outputs, then I'll have to start doing splitters off of things, which I don't love. Just the vanilla ones, much appreciated. Nice, nice. Glad we could help. Standard Pursuit and the better backgrounds are, uh, are the two most important ones. Alright, let's see here. So, we're going down here. Okay, we're gonna have to go up and over over here in a totally non-spaghetti fashion. It is completely and utterly beautiful and not spaghettified one tiny bit. Not even a tiny little bit of spaghetti. All right, bring this around. Okay, I think I'm gonna bring my other materials around here before I place this one so I can get, I can figure out the placement of this because I need three other materials, right? Modular frames and case industrial beams. So, I think I want to get the belts lined up here the way I want them lined up. Or going down this way, because there's going to be three different ones. So, the very middle will be here. I think that's the middle, right? Yeah, that should be the middle. So that's what we're working with. I'm going to set up three of these guys. Why are you connected? Don't don't connect there. Don't don't do that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, how do I make it not connect there? Okay. Bring this back somewhere so it's farther away, I guess. There we go. Like that. Okay, right there. The thing is, I don't know if, if I if I nudge if it goes up. That's the problem with nudging on a ramp. It stays... Like, you could build stuff mid-air if you just nudge it off the ramp. So, and that's what I was trying to avoid that. So, I think we got it. I think we're good. Yes, I was thinking of nudging, but I didn't because of that issue. There we go. All right, so I need to bring three different items from over here. So I don't want to line them up. 
This guy I actually want to line up in the middle, I think. I'll be right in the middle, and then this guy will be right next to it. Right there. That's how we'll be bringing these, so let's figure out where they have to go up and over things in a totally non-spaghetti-like fashion. And one of these is going to be industrial beams, and one of them is going to be modular frames, which are both coming from this direction. So, I'll get the other one next to this guy set up. Fun with belts. What is more fun than playing with belts in Satisfactory? Many, many, many things are more fun. But few things are more important than belt management. This has been a public service announcement from your Fix-It representative. So one can go here, the other one can go here. There we go. And bring them down, and these are in good shape. To bring the original daily items we need. Future is going to hate past Rand for all this belt spaghetti. I don't see any spaghetti. I see delicious long lines of nothing overlapping anything. This is uh, linguine. Spaghetti is spaghetti's bad. Linguine is delicious, and we're all happy about linguine. So I will I will not hear anything about spaghetti. It is totally linguine, which is totally better. Totally better. And I did want to either Summer Sloop or Overclock. Probably Summer Sloop. Summer Sloop is less power efficient, but more material efficient or resource efficient. Um, overclocking is, I think, slightly more power efficient, but more material efficient, I think. Or less material efficient. Something like that. Can you slap a sign on those belts telling where they go? Um, putting a sign on belts. I've never done that. Uh, where would you put it? I don't think you could put a sign on belts. You'd have to, like, put it right next to the belt, and then it'd be kind of in between belts. Yeah, I don't know how you do that in a way that wouldn't look... Like a mess, to be honest. How many of these encased beams do I need a minute? Basically all of them, so... Um... Okay. Let me finish this, then I'll... Have all of the outputs set up. So probably in the middle somewhere here, so like... 
So let's get the encased industrial beam output first. So. So I'll have... These are all coming from the same storage, right? Yes. And I don't need that fast of a belt. Let me let me through the hole. I know I can go through the hole. Oh my lag, Batman auto save lag. Okay. So uh, we can do just tier three belts. It's fine. There. There. Merger. Right there. Beautiful. There and there. Okay, that looks good. I was worried it was going to look too wiggly armed, but I actually kind of like the wiggly arm look right there. <laughs> that looks pretty cool. Oh, my dog. Look straight. That goes there. Very nice. For future Rand's sake, when he is asking what factory are these pipes going to, that's why he thinks you have signs on the belts. Oh. Eh. Meh. Nah. Yeah. That would probably be helpful. Okay, and I said I did need... So, do I have summer sloops? I have 13 of them. Nice. I'm going to throw... If I do one machine with summer sloops, that should be plenty that should that should make up for what we need this to do and I need to turn it purple when I do that right or pink yes 12 per minute as opposed to six so I've underclocked and I've thrown summer sloops in here so that should uh, I guess this one I was using that should make it so that we're making plenty and not undersupplying anything. X for the color tool. I will probably forget that, but thank you for that reminder. <laughs> Try to remember. All right, and modular frames, I need, again, basically all of them. So. wonder what my power is going to look like after all of this work. Oh, now I know why I looked. Uh, uh, never mind. Before, I didn't do a down one. That's why it looks kind of spaghetti arm. But honestly, I like the spaghetti arm look in this one. If I did it like that. And like that. And straight gives me the spaghetti arms. The delicious spaghetti arms. Okay. Okay, very good. I think there. That's straight. That's good. And let me go summer sloop. Ah, oh, I, I underclocked. Um, I'm going to do only one machine summer sloop tier or two. Let me see. You're doing three per minute. You do six per minute. All right. I better summer sloop two of these guys just to make sure. Power goes from 15 megawatts to... How much power does it go to? 60, okay. So it quadruples the power for double the output. Okay. X, pink. Summer Sloop and two of these guys. There we go. Cool. So hopefully with our underclocking of the heavy modular frames and the summer slooping of that, we will not have a shortage of materials, hopefully. That is the goal of that. Okay, this is all on that line.
Trying to make this look semi-even. Okay, maybe like that. That works. All right, there we go. Get rid of that. You tend to overclock the early chain stuff, and you just want to make them go faster and then summer sleep the later stuff. For max duplication, is that can save you a big chunk of early production duplication. Nice. What's up, Forecast? How are you doing, sir? All right, if I get all these belts done, that will be heavy modular frames automated. Happy Friday to you. Ready for some good times. Our, our, our finale of uh, Grounded. <laughs> and Shrouded tonight. It's two games with the name where the... It has a... What is that called? A suffix? An ED suffix. So I just keep saying that. I keep saying Grounded. <laughs> for some reason, I don't know why. Yeah. There. There. And there. You ate too much candy last night. Nice, nice. Did you take kids for trick-or-treating, or were you the kid for trick-or-treating? <laughs> I guess is the question. Were you the kid? Oh, that is perfectly straight. It's like I planned it. Like I planned it. This one... Okay, I think I can do... This. And this. And then I could do a side belt on this one. Uh, actually, what I can do is the out... Uh, this thing. Okay, let's complete that, and that'll let us do what we need to do. So, this guy. There. You're definitely excited for the finale. Rand keeps teasing you. <laughs> teasing you by saying grounded when we're not playing grounded. Sorry, sorry, Tyler. I am teasing you. It's a, it's a, I promise it's an accidental teasing. Is that better or worse? Probably, probably worse. I'm doing it on purpose. Go that there, and then I can do a downward input there. Will my trucks run into that? No, that's got plenty of clearance. Should be good. And that, and there. The kids came to your place, but there was a severe lack of them, so you ended up eating all of the candy. Ah, I gotcha. You know what? Actually, I think I can make this look better if I do that direction. Put this on straight. Mm. I guess that's a little better. Um, I didn't get candy, and no kids showed up, so I had no excuse to eat a bunch of candy, which I'm a little sad about, because eating candies, you know, almost as much fun as eating cookies. All right, uh, is that a GG cookie time? Is Are these going? Uh, steel pipes. They're slowly coming in. All right. Uh, I need to set up my storage outputs on these. Yeah, having to heat all that candy sounds awful. <laughs> oh, man. What a horrible time. You have to eat a bunch of candy. Mm. Well, got to do what you got to do, I guess. You know, somebody's got to take one for the team. Uh, I'm going to mess up. Yeah, you know, I'm going to move this over one, actually. Nine. E. There. Although I need to turn it around. There we go. Uh, you bought loads? 
of candy and decorated for great nephews that were coming over, but no one else turned up, so you had a shit ton left over. Such a shame. <laughs> Such a shame. Uh, I feel bad for all of you people. Hmm. Feel bad. You just have to eat all that candy by yourself. All right, I'm not seeing any industrial frames come out yet. Um, is it just because of the slow build? It's two per minute, right? Whoa, sorry. Sorry, I bumped my microphone. Should have bought nicer candy for the kids that didn't come, yeah. Okay, why aren't you making? You are. You're just really, really, really slow. I could overclock if I want to, but I'm not going to do that yet. The frick? Do I have this backwards? Ah, oh, I made these mergers backwards. Did I? I think they were backwards. I don't know. Let's remake them. Something's happening here. I don't know if I've used this manufacturer blueprint yet, so... I may have just screwed it up. There, that should be lined up right. Yeah, that. There we go. There. Your one belt. Output to your one belt. Output. Your four belt. There it is. That's what I'm looking for. Did that mess up my ladder? Nope, we can get up with that. Okay. Alright. Any modular frames actually want to finish building? Yeah, six and six. Beautiful. Now I gotta set up because I don't think I have heavy modular frames. Oh, I do have them maxed out. Did I have a... I'm pretty sure I don't have... If I take some of these, are this going to fill up again? No. So I don't have a dimensional storage that's set up well for this. Uh, because this was kind of where we ended our permanent temporary builds. So... Uh, some more sand fluctuators. I can go make ten of those real quick over here. Let's make some extras. Uh, 600 coal per minute. This game does not respect your time. Isn't that something that, uh, I'm pretty sure I saw some video from Co-Carnage about not respecting your time or something. Uh... These guys. Yeah, just make a bunch of these guys. Probably could expand your storage with an upgrade to 300. So are you talking about my um, dimensional storage? Dimensional depot? I don't know if I have enough Mercer Spears for that. It's a great code clip, but that was back in his phase one reaction. Yeah. I can, I can look at it. Um, let me check how many Mercer Spheres I have before I... Commit to another uh, upgrade. Because I'm pretty sure I used a lot of what I had before. I have 31. And the next upgrade is... 13 for the speed. 23 for the stack size. And I would have to manually make a whole bunch of those again. I think I care more about the stack size than the speed. It might be worth doing that. It might be worth doing that. What is this? Alien power matrix. I do not know what that thing is. Singularity cell. That's definitely not something I've unlocked yet. It would be nice to maximize my dimensional depot storage size. That would mean I have fewer Mercer spheres for dimensional storage or dimensional depots, but I could go back and collect some of my old ones. Um, do I want to do that? I would need to manually make 200, basically, of these other things, which... It's a big old pain. Um, I have I have the materials to do it. That would just be a bit of a wire and steel beam, steel pipes. Uh, okay, let's do it. Let's do it. I think that's worth. I think maxing maxing that's probably worth doing. 
Uh, whoops, steel pipes. Uh, fill that. Um... Uh, that. Uh, do I have those on me? Yes, I do. All right. Well, we're gonna, we're gonna, everybody can blame M. Pain Train for us staring at this screen for a couple minutes. <laughs> blame M. Pain Train. I need 200 of these to, to do that, that upgrade. We'll eventually do the speed upgrade. Um, I wonder how many Mercer Spheres there are in total. And if there's a way to kind of duplicate them using summer sloops like we did with the power charge thingies. Story time! Yay! Okay. Uh, anybody got a subject? Do I have a subject for story time? Um, gosh. Um, <laughs> I got nothing. I got nothing, chat. I got nothing. Halloween. I told the story yesterday about... My best Halloween where I made my uh, Star Wars costume. Christmas caroling on stream this year. We're doing that. That's what the completed goal is, but I'm leaving it up there because I hope we exceed our goal. So I can, you know, I had to pay rent today. So um, being able to being able to pay next month's rent would be good too. Uh, let me clear some space of some stuff concrete thing there or something. Uh, you can't duplicate Mercer Sears. They're only used just for depots and man research. Yeah, but that does mean that there's a limited number of depots, and that's what I was wondering about. So once I finish all the research, how many Mercer Spheres are in the world to complete the research, and then how many depots can you make, basically, is what I'm wondering. That is what I'm wondering. Do I have a beach story? Hmm. What's gonna be my first Christmas gig? Oh, that's an easy one because I was just looking at that today. It's way earlier than expected. Um, it is the twenty fifth of November, and I have, I think, two gigs on that day, which is a Monday. So that's it's quite early. Well, not, not as early as. I mean, it's after Black Friday, so I guess not even that early or something, but pretty early. Uh, there's a thousand bits to next month's rent. Thanks, Flurchin. Um, and what is it going to be? Downtown. Downtown Grapevine. Downtown Grapevine is what that gig's going to be. All right, that's enough for that. Now I need to make extra so I can actually make the dimensional storages. Uh, is that enough to do this upgrade, though? I need the 23 Mercer Spheres. Oof. That's going to use up all of, almost all of them. I'll be able to do like seven more. Seven more dimensional storages. have to go out and get more of those soon. Maxed out. Dimensional expansion finalized to 500%. Despite further efforts, parts could not be broken down further than their elementary particles, nor could the storage become more dense without the particles spontaneously reacting with one another and mm. losing their deconfined state. That's sad. Yet somehow more matter can now be stored in the same dimension. Cool. We send our growth song because we like your shallow efforts. Thank you. Up and down are a shallow illusion. Up and down disappear in the deep. That is very thoughtful, I think. I appreciate the attempts at sharing scientific knowledge. However, perhaps we should wait until we have a more optimal way of exchanging data. Wow. She's she's snapping down that uh, robot voice guy. Okay, that's good. That's good for now. I can now throw these back in here. These back in here. Hey, they go to the 40 bucks and pain train. Add more to it. Thank you. Thank you. Um... There's more than enough, like three to four hundred spheres. Wow, there's that many. Okay, nice. Uh, went down Main Street Grapevine yesterday. They already started putting up Christmas decor. Yeah, it's a big deal down there. That's you can see why we got hired to sing Christmas carols if you get visit there. I'm sure. There's a lot of places in Texas where Christmas is 
it's it's a big deal that's for sure uh, i'm sure it's like that in every big city in every city honestly uh but do i have a beach story because gunther said beach story the only beach story i can remember is going to i think it was galveston when i was like in high school and we went there and if you've ever been to texas beaches there are some that are not very nice that are just kind of gross and smell like um, seaweed. And that's what I remember from going to the Galveston Beach was a gross um, seaweed smelling beach. So there's my beach story. <laughs> not, a, not a great story, but that's what I got. It's like New Jersey. Is that what the New Jersey beaches are like? Uh, well, then there you go. There's my one beach story that I could think of off the top of my head. Why aren't you going in here? It's a merger, right? Is it the wrong direction? It's the wrong direction, isn't it? Uh, you t we're told there was war on Christmas. Surely you must be mistaken. War on Christmas? Shogi, the defender of Christmas, would never, would never approve. And he is the defender of Christmas. Bear belt is too long. Okay. Wow, okay. Uh... Right here. Let's see if I can line this up here. And right there looks good. I think that looks good. Very good. There we go. That should work. That should work. Seaweed. Never mind. New Jersey is something else entirely. Okay. Sewage? Well, seaweed and sewage kind of have a similar smell. You can unload, unload in the bottom of merger splitters into the bottom. Is that a question mark? No. No, that's not... It's not loading into the bottom. What that is is... If you do a lift, you can just attach a merger to it. Or a splitter. Which is a very useful thing. You can merge a splitter onto these things. That's a great tip, though. It's not actually loading into the merger. You, I'm just... Um, attaching a merger to a lift, which when I learned that, I, my mind was pretty blown, too. Pretty useful. All right, you guys are really slow, but are you actually making stuff? Yes, at 100%. Make sure we're all running at 100%. They're just really, really stinking slow. Very good. Very good. And let me... Uh, I can help this out by filling in this. Oh, it is filled. Okay. Well, then I can help this out by filling in one of each of these. This. And this. Although, actually, yes. That. There we go. Because I want this to be backed up. That's what I want. Because if they're backed up, then we're building a surplus. Okay. Um, just wait. They get slower. Okay. Okay. Uh, so that's good. That is heavy modular frames. Done. In a permanent build, and we are getting really close to starting to work on the phase three stuff. Let me again get an assembler and a manufacturer and look at the next stuff we want to do here. So we got the flexible frames. I do want to get high speed connectors automated here because I don't have that at my permanent base. I think that might be the last thing before I start working on space elevator stuff. 
AI limiters. I don't think I have AI limiters here either. So I think I want to do two things. Maybe three, because I don't know if I have silica here. Although, maybe I don't do silica until I need it for something. Apparently, I don't really need it for anything, I don't think. I think I might want to get AI limiters automated here. And... Silicon. Uh, uh, High-speed connectors. And actually, maybe I want to use silicon for that instead of the cables. Did I ever fix past ran driving from earlier? No. No, I've only added to it because I've added trucks. So I haven't I haven't fixed that yet. <laughs> I probably want to do that off stream if I do it because it would take a lot of time because we have a lot of trucks. So, um, okay, which do I want to do first? So this one takes quick wire, silica, and circuit boards. This guy takes copper sheets and quick wire or quick wire and plastic. Silicon high speed connector is your go to. Okay. So this is eight a minute. You can use plastic. Um and the other one is five a minute using copper sheets. So I guess the real choice, I have plenty of quick wire. I have a ton of quick wire, so that's not a real issue. Question is, do I want to use plastic or copper sheets? Yes, I did get the alt recipe for for concrete. Uh, did I ever get alt recipe for cheap silica? What? Uh, I don't know. Yes, yes I did. So I might want to use that. Is that a lot more efficient, I'm guessing? Let me see what my power is looking like right now with all these things I've been building. All right. My gray line is still above my orange line, which is the most important thing. But the bad thing is my blue line keeps getting... My gray line was inching up towards my blue line last stream after we did all those power upgrades. And it's it's, it's flying up away again. That's This right here, the fact that my gray line is never above my blue line is why I never sink a bunch of my factories. Because if I started sinking things then everything would start kicking on and I might have power problems. So I'm trying to avoid the power problems. Two more silica if you use raw limestone. Makes you use an assembler. It's much more quartz efficient at the expense of complexity and using limestone. Okay. Um, copper sheets. I'm making 240 a minute and I'm using lag. Uh, I'm only using... How much am I using? I'm only using it in one factory. Let's go see how much we're using that one factory. About 80 a minute. My gosh, fat finger. So I have about 160 copper sheets a minute available. Uh, how much? Oh, jeez. Go away, dude. Nobody likes you. Another one? Okay. Uh, was that mean? Was I mean to that dog? Hog? Whatever? 25 per minute. 160 divided by 25. If I could do six machines, which would give me 30 AI limiters a minute. It's pretty good. Probably way more than I need. So I think I think I'll do the copper sheets build. Because plastic I'm using in more recipes, I know. And I would rather not run out of plastic. I feel like I feel like making more plastic is more annoying than making more copper sheets. So I think I will go with that AI limiter version. Um, where does this belt go, lol? If only I had a sign. Uh, you find a cheap silica situationally useful. Quartz is a lot less restricted than it used to be. Now with multi beams and pipes, you use limestone more than ever before. Steam copper sheets OP if you got it. Um, I 
I do have those available. What's that recipe? 22.5 per minute for three and three. And this is 10 per minute at 20. Yeah, I'd have to do a completely new build. Um, I'm pretty sure in the future I'll need more copper sheets and I might do a new copper sheets build. But I think what I'm going to do is use what I the leftovers I currently have because I have plenty. I'm using so little of my copper actually. Um, but I'm going to I'm just going to use use what I got for this next build. Where can I fit this next build? I might be able to fit it right here actually. And this needs um, copper sheets and something else that I think we have plenty of. Uh, if I want this to be expandable, what is this? Staters or rotors, I think. Um, the more stuff I build underneath this thing, the harder it will be to expand these builds, but... Hmm. How many machines did I need for that? <laughs> Excuse me. I think I can fit one more here. I'm going to try to fit one more factory here. One, two, three, right here. Thank you, thank you. One second, chat, one second. Okay. Um, Katerium Wire, couldn't remember the name again. Quick Wire, yeah. Whenever the player thinks more, then I will... Whenever the player thinks more, then I will ever need the game laughs. True, true. Um, I guess I'll go up. I was I want to save space, but I also want these to be kind of even. So I guess I am gonna go one more space up. Okay. Do I actually have room here? Is this a manufacturer factory? It is, right? Yes, but there's only six machines. How many machines do I need for the build I was just talking about? Assembler factory, I meant to say. Um, <clears throat> I said 30 a minute, right? Like 160 divided by 25. Yeah, so if I do six machines, six times five is 30. Okay, that's one assembler factory. That'll work. That'll work. I think I can fit this in here and it won't screw us up too much. You love the porta potties. Make some more. Damn you, Shogi. Damn you. Making everybody call my factories porta potties. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna try to line this up. The way I did this one. He's right, you know. <laughs> All right, what are we doing? Doing assemblers. Front. Do it like this. There. Although, do I actually want this one over? I want this one over. Yes, I want this one over to the left. Come on, come on, come on. There. Uh, it's not going to go as far over as I need it, is it? Damn it. Okay, so I need... That, so I can place this where I want to place it. There. I 
think that'll work. That is perfect. They look exactly like them, just very big with similar wall textures. <laughs> Do I need some more decorative facades to move away from the honey bucket look? <laughs> I mean, I'm doing all my decoration on my pyramid, so, which from underneath looks really cool when I change the color to a silver and gold, like, uh, checkerboard pattern. I don't know if y'all ever got a good look at that, but that's what it looks like from underneath. It's pretty awesome. Uh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't do the numbers. I didn't do my signs for this. I need to do my numbers on this. So we're doing two times... So we're doing eight heavy modular frames a sec uh, minute. Let me get my signs going. All right. Upside down. So stupid. So stupid. That's good. Damn you, upside down signs. Damn you. Okay, so. Eight a minute on heavy modular frames, which are kind of a black thing. So we'll go black and white. Okay, parts. Maybe mind the frames. Eight a minute. Heavy modular frames output. Okay. Pyramid is incredible. It just creates a bit of dissonance. Did Egyptians or Aztecs have porta potties at a pyramid construction site? <laughs> you don't know. Maybe they did. Maybe they did. All right, 5.333 a minute heavy modular frames. So 5.333 times 4, 21.332. And there, uh, modular frames. What was the number? 21.332. 21.332 a minute modular frames input. Okay. And the slaves that built the pyramids lived in some rundown huts, but at least they had some nice porta potties, you know? They're not total savages there. 6.667 times 4. 6.667 times 4. 26.668. Twenty-six point six six eight uh, encased industrial industrial beams input, and those are kind of a orangish off-white color. And do do do. Those guys. Right, what's the last one? It's steel steel pipes and how many of those? 24. Hey, an actual round number. Oh wait, no. I did need another one because we have concrete as well. Okay. 24 times 4. So 96 and uh steel pipes. Ninety-six a minute steel pipes. Input. These guys are basically black in color. Uh, where are your steel pipes? Right there. Okay, and then the last one is the concrete. 14.667 times 4. 58.668.
58.668 per minute concrete in what? Concrete again is kind of a orangish, light orangish color. There's a lot of similar colored things in this game, I feel like. Uh, concrete. Okay. Okay, that looks good. That looks good. Uh, Aztec, for example, were truly efficient. They used slaves with maximum efficiency. First you build a pyramid, then you get wrecked to top your own creation for the glory of some bloody godling. You sure you won't get wrecked some way when you finish your space elevator? Fix it also seems to be fairly efficient after all. <laughs> well, not according to uh, Meow Zedong, who keeps saying I'm, you know abusing slaves or something, so I'm sure I'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. I'm totally not going to sacrifice myself. Who knows what Ada will do? Who knows? Okay. Actually, I can make use of this thing where I go... How do you do this? Control, Alt. How do you grab off of a power line again? Oh, there it is. I can hover off of that. Put that there. There we go. Does that do what I want it to do? Yeah, cool. There it is. There it is. Cool. Very nice. Okay. Uh, means I don't have a powerful here, which is fine. Maybe even better. Maybe worse. Hmm. I want to say I kind of want to have the power pole here. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to immediately change my mind. This. For that. This. For that. Get rid of these guys. Go this to that. Okay. Uh, so these guys now have power. Are they yellow, or do I need to tell them what they're making? I think I need to tell them what they're making, don't I? It's not circuit boards. We are making AI limiters. Copy. Paste. Paste, paste. Paste, paste. Okay. Okay. All right, so let me get my sign set up first. So we're going to be making 5 times 6, 30 AI limiters a minute is what we'll be making. All right, well, I'm just going to have to accept that they're going to be upside down every time and turn it around. Turn the sun around. Do 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 do. Oh, those were sh right. Okay, yay! For some reason, those actually worked. All right, so thirty AI limiters a minute, and those are uh, black color, black with a little green in it, right? I think. Okay. Parts. AI limiters. 30 a minute. AI limiter. Output. I think that's right. 5 times 6. Yes. We're going to need 600 quick wire a minute. Ooh, I'm going to need two two belts for that. And 25 times 6. 150 copper sheets a minute. Right. 150 a minute. Copper. Sheets. Input. Uh, copper is kind of like that color. 
go. And then 600 a minute quick wire. Okay, 600 a minute quick wire input. Wires further down here, right there. Okay. Okay. All right, so let's plug things in. Um, gosh, 600 a minute. I think I'm gonna have to split up my uh, my splitters. I'm gonna have to have. That's a lot of quick wire. Uh, let me figure out how I'm gonna do this. So the copper sheets are gonna come from this side. Quick wire is gonna come from this side. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a double double input of quick wire here, and a single input of copper over here. I think. And the quick wa uh, the copper is 150, so I can use a tier tier one belt is fine. Tier, tier three, I should say. Uh, let me do this. I guess it's out of the way. There we go. And One Mark IV belt to there. And then I think what I'm going to have to do is... Will that be enough? That's supplying four different guys. 100 a minute. Needs tier two belts. Right? 120, yes. And I can do a... Something like this. We're just going to have to have two quick wire lines for how much quick wire this is going to require. Oh, nice. Doesn't even overlap. Beautiful. There we go. Okay, that's the quick wire inputs. A little funky looking, but it's fine. Um, did I get my outputs set up here? The wires are powered. Um, no modular stuff, so this is all plugged in. This is AI limiter, so I think I am going to want dimensional storage for this. I got seven, seven things left. Seven uh, Mercer spheres left for dimensional storage thingies. There, merger. on the wall. I think it's there. Good. There go. And that will be our dimensional storage for the AI limiters. Okay, so now I got to get the inputs. The uh, let's do the easy ones. Copper sheets will be easy because I only need to do a small-ish amount. Quick wire. I'm going to need two very long wires coming over here. So let's 
perfectly straight, as all things should be. Or balanced, or something. Okay, um... Where am I gonna, where am I gonna bring these over? Right... Lined up here, I think. There. Down below these guys right here. Because again, this is totally not spaghetti. We're just being very um, sure we're not overlapping things. Nobody wants to overlap, right? There go. Alright, copper sheets are right over there. Let's figure out. I kind of want to do the output from the top to supply this, so that we're using a different... Or maybe, yeah, maybe I want to use the one up there. Let's go get outputs from the top, so we're using a different set of copper sheets that we've already, uh, that we haven't used the outputs of yet. It's basket weaving. Oh yeah, I watched the underwater basket weaving thing that somebody posted the other day. <laughs> uh, it's pretty funny. Uh, that is an actual real course being um, offered at like Auburn University or something crazy. It's an artisan weave, not spaghetti. That's right. It's artisan, totally. There. Oh, is that Rutgers? That's right, at Rutgers University. That's right. It's funny because so many of them like, yeah, it's not actually a useful course, but it's very challenging. <laughs> They're like, uh, it's more like a scuba diving class than it is an actual, like, basket weaving class. Is kind of funny. Okay, there. And there. There we go. That looks good. Copper sheets. That'll go flowing into our factory. And now I need uh, 600 quick wire a minute. Uh, going to this factory right over here. Remember over under, never under over. And that's right. You gotta, gotta remember that. It's totally important to remember that. So, um, if I did one tier four belt, that's 480. 600 minus 480. Oops. 600 minus 480. Minus, minus 480. It's only in a tier two belt with a tier four belt, but I'll probably do one tier four and one tier three is probably the way I'll do this. Um, a tier three is 280 a minute. So that could supply these last two. So for the right belt is only supplying two. So that can be a tier three belt to that. And the other one will be tier four supplying four of them with 480. Yes, yes, that should work, that should work. All right, so let's get these both, both of these belts going at the same time. Um, I don't wanna do this. Quick wire is there. I'm going to stack two belts here. Get the tier four belt on the bottom. And do stackables along the way.
Wonder who has the record for the deepest underwater basket ever weaved. <laughs> Definitely somebody at Rutgers. Although, they're not that, they weren't that deep underwater, to be honest. It was basically like my scuba diving class that I took with how deep underwater they were. Which is like a pool that you go like 10 feet at most or something. All right, so quick wire. Top floor of quick wire was probably what we'll do here. Um, how much are we doing on this? We're, we're just doing so much. So probably I just do two different uh, outputs here. So one will be a tier four belt, one will be a tier three belt. And I'll start it with a tier four belt. All right, quick wire, quick wire looks good. Okay, let's do the tier four here. How far down can you go? Pretty far, although we need this to kind of be up above. So let's go. Something like that. Okay, where am I lining up? I'm lining up over here. So... It is in line with these steel guys. I probably want this to something like that. Something like that. Pichad, this isn't spaghetti at all. It's really completely amazingly organized with no overlap at all. It's it's beautiful. <laughs> no spaghetti at all. Alright, now how am I gonna get I think this one here? Um Fill in some walls here. Yeah, we're going to do a little bit of octopus arms that I had in my previous playthrough. I had these uh, elevators or whatever you call them, conveyor lifts. Uh... Kind of stacked on top of each other. So, speaking of stacking things on top of each other, if I stack it on top of one of these steel pipe dudes, that's probably what I'll do here. Two. You love seeing the happy parallel of full belts? I know. It's it's just happy. It's just happy. It's not ugly or anything. It's just happy. All right. So I think I want this to be above. We can do it right above this guy here. Think of that. Yes. Yeah, that should work. To maintain that, the better bus system would help with the cable management. I don't know what the better bus system is. I know what a bus system is. I don't know how I would do it in this game. Trying to walk on the belts while placing belts while autosave is ruining my life. Okay, let me see if I can get this lined up right.
There. Beautiful. Totally no overlap at all. Beautiful. Ignore that poll that I just deleted. There we go. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, I know uh, main bus system is actually very good, and that's what I do in Factorio playthroughs. Um, I feel like it would be hard to set that up in Satisfactory, but maybe if I actually tried it sometime, I'd find I enjoy it. I just never actually... I don't know how I would go about doing that. Nice. Beautiful. Okay. Set up a 5x5 five five conveyor ladder blueprint and lay them out around your loop. Thought about doing a bus build? It would have to be built in one direction or a loop. The balancing seems hard with the belt speeds. 5x5 five five conveyor ladder. Oh, I think I see what you're saying. That would be cool. It'd look kind of like this. And then I guess you'd have a main bus where you put a bunch of materials on. Here, let me just... So I can visualize this. One, two, three, four. I know it's these are kind of overlapping. Four, five. And you'd have one, two, three, four, four five. I need to have a bus going around with materials like this. And anytime you needed a material, you'd like split it off with a splitter kind of thing. Like do something like that. I don't know. I, I feel like... Yeah, I'm go five high. You'd hate to bus build in this game because you'd get clipping everywhere. You'd get clipping everywhere, and I don't know that the belts would move fast enough. I feel like you could do that late game when you have really OP belts. And you'd have to plan that out from the very beginning. I like that idea if I had started my build with that. Um, I like that idea, and I bet you there, there have been people who have come up with good builds like using a bus system. So maybe a future run. Maybe a future run I try to do some sort of bus system. You need so much open space because you need this. You need this bus just just goes straight down the line, and then you'd have factories off to the side pulling off and putting stuff on. I'd have to see how that would be done by somebody, but it sounds like a cool idea because I think that's how I have done a factorial build in the past. All right, let's see. Is this going now that we've su supplied it with all materials? You're yellow. Why are you yellow? You're not getting your quick wire fast enough. Hmm. I think, uh... Upgrade those belts might help. And maybe... Oh! These! These were not updated. That's what's slowing them down. Conveyor lifts. That's the bottleneck. Okay. I think I upgraded. Are these two tier tier two belts? Yes. Tier two belts are enough out on, on this. Actually, let me to do that. Tier two. Tier two. There. And tier two lifts actually are all we need here. There. There. There, because tier two is 120 a minute, and they only need 100 a minute. And we're supplying them with tier four belts <clears throat> to the tier two belts. That should be enough. Would need modded belts, in your opinion, or would need to plan out drawing from each line as equal as possible with balancers before and after? Yeah, it really sounds difficult with the way you'd need to split off materials and then have it come back on. That sounds very, very difficult to balance. Okay, cool. These should start all getting up to 100% now that I've done that. Yes. Over 40. Over 40. There we go. Now these are going. Now these are going. Okay. And did I set up my output correctly? I think I did. Uh, 
Ah, there we go. I actually... Oh, I, I had never... I I wasn't uh, Dimensional Depot stockpiling AI limiters. Okay, well, it's a really good thing I did that then. I did not know I had... Um, I thought I had that uh, automated at my last permanent temporary build. It'd be hell now that you have so many belts running around everywhere. Maybe not implement the bus part, but laying out the ladders on your upper belt floor might make it easier to connect belts to each factory. Yeah, they'd probably it would be more organized. I see what you mean about cable management would look better if I did that. So basically, I would have had to plan my loop out, completely build the loop, and then put the five by five um, stackable conveyor poles, poles, and then I can. It becomes my main bus, even if it's not, you know, the main way I get materials around my factory. It would be it would be better cable management. I 100% agree. It would take a crap load of time to fix that now, and I'm probably not going to. But it's a cool idea. I like that idea. All right. Well, that build is done. Y'all can enjoy the view of this cable management that I just did while I take my final break here. Let me uh, deconstruct these guys. You can watch the materials flow. Uh, can I get a good bird's eye view of this? Bird's eye view of the trucks going by and the uh, materials flowing. And I'm gonna GG cookie time. Uh, AI limiter is automated. And we have one last thing, I think. Uh, what is it? What is it that we need to automate? Uh, not heavy modular frames. I think it's the uh, high speed connectors. So GG cookie time, y'all enjoy chair and break or watching the truck go by time. And when we come back, we will probably work on that factory and see how long that takes. But y'all rock, see in just a bit, my friends. Enjoy, enjoy chair time. <laughs>